everyone, um, Hannah here. I have some tremendous news. Um, here in the back of the car, I have my new concert grand harp. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I have not been this giddy since, oh my gosh, probably my wedding day. Um, so I'm going to go home and unpack it and um, I will set up uh, probably my laptop so you can see. And um, thank you so much for all of your support. I'm so excited. I'll talk to you guys in a couple minutes. Bye. Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Obviously, uh, I have now taken the harp out of its transport covers and uh, I have tuned it up. A uh, little fact for you guys, if you're interested in buying a harp and need it to be shipped um, in the back of trucks versus going to pick it up yourself, um, always make sure that the strings are tuned about a full step down from their, reg uh, from their regular pitch because otherwise, as the wood expands and contracts, especially in non-perfectly temperature-controlled environments, um, it may cause the strings to pop or actually cause harm to the structure of the instrument. Better to have too little tension rather than too much, right? It's the classic snap rubber band sort of thing. So, um, I have now tuned this harp up. Uh, only one string popped, and that was when I was tuning it, not, uh, <laughs> it didn't come popped. Um, thank you to Peter of Salvi for very carefully wrapping up the column in the base, making sure that nothing was happen, uh, could happen to it. It was very well taken care of. Um, so looking at both of these harps now, I'm struck by how much of an emotional bond that I have to both of them. Um, I've been playing the Venus Premiere, which most of you have seen on my YouTube videos, um, I, gosh, for almost 15 years now, I guess. So, you know, you don't have that sort of lifelong um, friendship and uh, relationship with you know, an instrument or a person uh, without developing some sort of attachment to them and really coming to love their, uh, their strengths and not really caring so much about their weaknesses. Um, that being said, I am already really starting to fall in love with this iris. Um, it has a fantastic sound. Uh, very different sound than the Venus, and some of you may like the Venus sound better, some of you may like the Salvi sound better, some of you may prefer the aesthetic of the Venus versus the Salvi, and there's really no, no right or wrong. It's really, what uh, what is your personality? What is it that you want to express? What sort of sound epitomizes how you think music should be made? So, uh, for kicks and giggles, I'm going to play both of these back to back in some different um, some different sound patterns and different chord patterns. Let me know if you can hear a difference and let me know which sound you like better, which look you like better, and uh, feel free to ask me any questions. So, this is the Salvi Iris. to the Salvi, uh, sorry, the um, Venus Premiere. Tonight from Disney, the Disney's The Lion King. Um, quite honestly, I have not practiced this seriously in a while, so please forgive any performance mistakes. But um, hopefully, you can be able to get a full um, kind of a uh, sense for the range of the different harps, mood, sound qualities, volume qualities, all the rest of it.
And that was the Venus Premier, who's been with me since I was, I believe, 12 years old. So, um, I can tell you how long it's been. It's been over 15 years. So, um, now I will move over to the Salvi Iris. Thank you. 